Right, so let me just show you guys how this seed is looking because it is day 20 and it's grown quite a bit. Right, so as you guys can see, it's looking <laughs> pretty good, really well actually for day 20 when we're getting frosts and it is freezing here in Orange. Our tops lately have been like eight degrees, so really stoked with how this is looking so far. Heat mat seriously is making a huge difference. You can really see that it's thicker along the corners of the rye where the heat mat sticks over. Mate, ridiculous. Anyway, so today it's getting long. I'll get the tape measure out, but I'm guessing it's time for a cut. Right, so let's just check the height of cut on this rye here. Not height of cut, the height it's grown to. We haven't cut it yet, so there is no height of cut. Um, but I'm guessing, yep, 30, 35 mil. Definitely ready for a cut. So generally around the 20 day mark, if you've got good even coverage, you can give it a cut if you like with this rye grass. If it's sitting up at 30, 40, 50 mil. Some people like to recommend wait until it's about 60 or 70 mil. Um, but if you're cutting shorter and it's Yep, it's in there pretty hard. That is not pulling out very easy at all. Um, it's going to be sweet for a cut. So today we're going to take it in at 20 mil. So only taking one third of the leaf off. So from 30 down to 20 mil. We can probably squeeze it to 15 because some of it's have a 40 mil. Um, but let's just go 20 for today and see how it looks, hey? Um, when it is less mature like this, it is easier to take it down. So you could break that one third rule because it is so young and the crowns aren't really even um, matured up yet. You could take it down real low if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, let's go 15, but let's check the height on the bent. So this is definitely shorter, different type of grass. Um, it does naturally grow a lot shorter because it is a thinner blade on it. Um, we're looking at about 15 mil across the board, so that's gonna be ready today for sure. So we'll probably cut that down at about 10, might even go eight mil. Um, we'll see how it goes. I'll try 10 and then see if it will go down a little bit lower. Now there is a few thin spots on the green. Um, it's just the way it is sometimes when you seed. Um, they have got seed coming up in all those areas though. Now there is this part at the top just here that does look a little bit nasty. Um, we got a bit of wash there. The heat mat wasn't quite covering that area when we got a big heavy downpour of rain. So I've moved the heat mat up there. Overseeded again. And we've got germination now so it should be sweet. But either way, I think the bent grass will start filling in some areas once we start cutting it. Since we are putting this heat mat on and avoiding frost and keeping a bit more heat in there, it's supposed to be up to 25% more um, heat with those heat mats as well. Um, we should see this continue to grow throughout winter, which is what I'm excited about. It'll be interesting to see how the tea goes um, and the rye around the apron because the grass isn't quite as mature as, say, this stuff over here. So it'll be interesting to compare between that and that. They are the same grass type, so it'll be cool to see. Um, but yeah, I'm keen to cut it. Let's cut it. Right, so, tell you what, it looks alright, but I think it needs a rotary cut. A lot of it's just getting laid over because the grass was a bit longer. So let's go get the rotary, and let's give the tidy up with that first, and then we'll cut it again with the reel. Because yeah, it just doesn't, it's just laying over in a couple of places, which is not ideal. Should have just used the rotor in the first place, shouldn't have even got the reel out. Silly boy! Anyway, came out pretty good. Pretty stoked with how it looks. Um, still a lot, obviously a little bit thin, needs to thicken up, but I mean what, it's 21 days in 
and the weather is cold and we're getting frost so pretty impressed with how it's going so far really impressed actually so good so this is probably the part i'm most excited about is cutting the bent with this mower here so let's set the height of cut show you guys how to do it because i've had some guys asking me um and then let's cut it boy The first thing, when you got these mowers, because they are very precise and you need to match up both sides, because you adjust the height of cut on both sides here, um, make sure you've got a height of cut bar. Now we're setting this one today to 8mm, which is basically just a piece of steel with that bolt on there. Then we slip, slip underneath there, touches the rear roller and the front roller, and then that is going to go over the bed knife, like slot in under there. Um, so, first thing we're going to do is undo these nuts here which looks like they're already undone Oops. and then basically all you got to do is adjust these so tightening it up will bring that roller up which lowers your height of cut which means so we tighten it up it's currently set at 20 mil no 15 mil so if we start tightening it up we'll tighten it up to 8 mil but you got to make sure you do it even across the board so I do a half turn there and I do a half turn over on this side as well Alright, so we're starting to get close now. That bolt there is nearly sitting on top of that bed knife, on the inside of that bed knife. So only a couple more turns and we should be there. So once, once you get to this point, when you're cutting at these low heights, you want to make sure they're exactly even across the board. So you want to make sure they feel the same on both sides. So what I mean by feel is when you push this in, um, it's going to feel just as tight as it does on this side over here. So I can see on this side over here it's not even quite low enough yet. Because I haven't adjusted them the same. So yeah, I'm going to make sure they feel just as tight or loose across the board. So that feels pretty snug. So this is, this is just, it's fiddly, but it's not that hard. you just got to get used to doing it. I mean, we used to do this daily on the golf course nearly. With some of the mowers that we used for so the tees and then some for the surrounds around the greens. See that there now, probably a bit too tight. There we go, so they feel pretty similar to me. I go back and forth a few times and feel it, and I'd say that's pretty much bang on. And then you check the center as well, just to make sure. They're pretty good, feels pretty even across the board. So then you do those locking nuts back up, and you're good to go. Right, so I'm only going to give it the single cut, um, just because it is not so mature, so I'm a little bit scared. It's going to rip it out. Um, so, yeah. Because even when turning up on those corners up there where the new seeds germinated, it was just a little bit scary to be honest. So, not really keen on turning around because that mower is so heavy. I'm just continually turning around with that bad boy, but I'll show you how it looks. So, it's turned out pretty nice. Um, 8 mil. Looks pretty crisp. Looks pretty good. I mean, it is thin. It is very thin, but even in these thin spots like this, there's still lots and lots of seed up. We just got to keep this heat mat on so it starts to creep. Now, the plan from here on in would be to basically start cutting this every, probably every two to three days, just so we do start to promote some growth on this green. Um, just to help fill in those bare areas and to help it really get used to being cut. Um, I think I was almost pushing it with giving it a cut already, but it, it was all right. It didn't pull any out, luckily. Not that I can tell anyway, but yeah, it's it's very it's not very mature. <laughs> yes, so the single cut is all it needs. Um, but now that I have cut it, it should really start to tiller out and thicken up a lot more, and we'll start to see some of those bare areas fill in, like I said just a second ago. But yeah, looks pretty good. Happy with it at day 21. Really stoked on how that's looking. Um, there's some silly old. It's not worm castings, I think it's ants or something that have been doing crap in there, which is annoying, but anyway. There's also a bit of power in there, um, but whatever, man, it's power. I'll pick it out, there's not many bits of it. 
Anyway, not much else I can do with this at the moment. It's still feeding off that inoculate, so I'll just let it keep feeding off that. Um, I'll probably put some liquid fur out maybe in two weeks' time. Um, see how it goes, see how it's looking. Um, but I'll keep you guys updated with this. I'm going to continue to keep mowing it though. The rye, I won't mow it as much. Because the bent's a little bit shorter and I want it to really thicken up, I'm going to mow that bent. I'm going to try every two, two to three days, probably go three days, just not to push at the start. Wait till it really starts to mature and more of that seed germinates. And we'll be sweet, but I'm keen, man. Keen. So glad I did this. Glad I got that heat mat as well to really help out with it over winter. Gives me a bit of a project to do, but really appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys on Wednesdays. No, this is Wednesday's video, on Saturday's video. <laughs> in case you're wondering how that inoculate fertilizer kicked in from last week. Seriously, man, like this lawn looks thick. Thick as, I mean, autumn's really in now. It's nearly winter here. Pretty amount of frost we're getting. Dirty dog. Um, but yeah, it's looking schmick as. Really, really good. Stoked with how it looks. Backyard is nice and green too, nice and thick. I can really just, it just looks a lot thicker, especially in person. Probably hard to tell on camera. But you can probably see the color difference shift here on camera. It definitely looks like a healthy boy. Anyway, see you.